God bless you all because I know that pain that you feel every day of your life when you wake up. <laughs> and you look and you hear the door and you think your child's going to walk through that door. And does it? <laughs> all you can do is pray and pray that you get justice one day. Many of our young babies are being killed, gunned down innocently. And I mean, we have to fight and struggle in order to get justice for them. Nicholas Jr., my son, was only 13 years old when he was murdered by New York City Housing Police Officer Brian George right here in the Gowanus Houses, Balm Hill community. He actually was playing the innocent game of cops and robbers in this building right here. Ayanna Stanley Jones, seven years old, slept on the couch as her grandmother watched television in the Detroit, Michigan home. Detroit SWAT burst into the house and fired single shots, striking Ayanna in the head. Ricky Arzuaga, 15 years old, was sitting in the back seat of an allegedly stolen car when two unidentified officers approached and started grabbing at the door handle, saying, open the door. As the driver of the car pulled away, Officer James Hand shot into the back of the moving car hitting Frankie in the back of the head. Kamani Gray, 16 years old, was stopped and questioned by two plainclothes cops. Witnesses say Kamani had been fixing his belt when he was shot. Another eyewitness said she heard Kamani plead, please don't let me die. To which the officers replied, she said, stay down or we'll shoot you again. Tamir Rice, 12 years old on November 22nd, 2014. Tamir was playing with a toy gun in a park in Cleveland, Ohio. Officer Timothy Leonan, responding to a 911 call, shot Tamir in less than two seconds after arriving in the park and failed to give CPR to Tamir after he was shot. Tamir died from the gunshot wound after he was two days, a, a day after he was shot. Rihanna was a beautiful child. She helped everyone. She was a people to people ambassador. On August 27, 2010, my daughter was suffering an asthma attack. Carol Park, Brooklyn. Now, I know I needed to move. We called the ambulance needed to move so i proceeded to the long island college hospital on the way there i encountered an officer alfonso mendez and i asked him for help i asked him to help my baby with cpr he said i don't do cpr Arrogantly, so arrogantly. Of course, a lot of people say, oh, they might have mistaken the, 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 the toy gun he was playing with as a real one. <laughs> Plastic toy guns are not dangerous weapons. There shouldn't have been no way that my son should be dead today for playing an innocent game of cops and robbers with some friends of his who had orange and different color looking guns. This is the pop gun that my son was playing with. And when the officer came to the stairwell where they were playing, my son dropped the toy gun and said, we're only playing, we're only playing. The officer shot and killed him anyway. My son uh, was just coming home from his uh, friend's house. He was riding a tiny motorcycle. And the reason that he was Kill and chase. I mean, it's because they said he was he was chased because he didn't have a helmet. And I don't want no any other mother to experience That's to right. experience. Mm -hmm. I don't want no mother to wake up one day and to find that the son Dora is not gonna be there in your life anymore. I want to know why this cop murdered my son, and he got the cop to tell why he shot Malcolm. You know what he said? I don't know. Not 
<laughs> he said, I didn't fear him. I knew he had no weapon. So why did you blow his brains out? Oh my God. And for a long time, I didn't picture that in my mind. But the more time go on, I think about me walking in that building, stepping in my son's blood, because it was all on a step still. Mm. Seeing his blood splattered on the wall. That's why I can't let this go. Mm. And I come out and I support whatever family, whatever mother there is, because nobody know the pain we walk in, but us mothers. That's why when you saw me get up here, I don't stand by myself. I say, come on mothers, we stand together. What kind of system is this? What kind of society do we really live in which allows officers to do this type of nonsense to our children? But whatever motivates you to be here, we have to stand up and say this must stop. No longer will we accept you murdering our children and take it in silence. These children were innocent. Their lives were snatched by reckless trigger-happy trigger cops. They will never feel the sense of accomplishments that comes with walking across the stage and being handed your high school diploma. They will never get to experience the college years where we all got to explore and determine our futures. They will never get to meet their first true loves, have their first kiss, or get married. Their parents will never get to dance with them at their weddings or hold their grandchildren. Parents should not bury their children. Their dreams, their potential, their promise was stolen from them. And not only by the cops that killed them, but by a government that refuses to require accountability from law enforcement. My daughter's up there in heaven watching down on me and us and all of us, all of us who are in the same fight. We all have this fight in common. Our children were robbed. They were stolen. They were taken. Ten, sister. But we still fight.